Hi, in this video, we will look at configuring Cloud OnRamp for IIS with AWS. Cloud OnRamp for IIS helps you extend your SD-WAN fabric right up to your public cloud instances. Cisco SD-WAN offers an automated workflow-based option to configure the required cloud networking to connect to your enterprise SD-WAN fabric. Now, there are multiple ways to connect to the cloud. For example, you can instantiate a virtual device within the VPC or use a transit architecture and connect to multiple VPCs or even use AWS Transit Gateway, which is the latest offering. In this video, we will use AWS Transit VPC architecture to connect to AWS from the branch network. Attached is the topology we will use for this demo. I have an instance running a host VPC in the AWS Frankfurt region and an edge in a branch connected to an internet transport. Now using Cloud on Ramp, we will spin up two CSRs in a transit VPC and register them to the controllers. The VPC will then be connected to the internet using IGW or the internet gateway and we'll form the SD-WAN tunnel to the branch network. We will then connect the transit VPC to the VGW in the host VPC via standard-based IPsec and ensure all VPC routes are exchanged within the SD-WAN fabric. So let's begin. So I have a branch up and running within the network. So let's check our configurations in AWS. So this is my uh, EC2 instance, uh, which is running within the uh, Frankfurt region. Let's go to VPCs. And here I, you can see that there is an SD-WAN VPC and there is a default VPC. My instance is actually running in the SD-WAN VPC. Let's go down and look at the virtual private networks. Uh, let's look at customer gateway and I don't have any customer gateways. I don't have any virtual private gateways. And if I go to site to site VPNs, I don't have any site to site VPN connections. Uh, let's head back to vManage. Now the first thing that we need to do is to create a template that will be assigned to our virtual instances in the transit VPC. So let's go to templates. Now I have already defined a template, so let's take a quick look at them. It's a very basic template configuration that has an interface in transport VPN, one interface in management VPN and one in service VPN. So let's go ahead and attach this template. Let's quickly key in the values. Let's call this CSR AWS one, site ID of 170. Let's call this CSR AWS two. We'll use the same site ID. Click next. Let's quickly check the configuration. So this is the configuration that will be pushed to the device once it comes online. Let's click configure. Now the templates have been scheduled to be pushed once the device comes online. Now let's begin our Cloud on RAM configuration. So let's go and choose Cloud on RAM for IS. Let's add a new cloud instance. Let's add Amazon. Now here you can use an IAM role or an API key. We'll use API key. Let me key in the details. Next, let's choose a region which is EU Central 1. Let's give a transit VPC a name of SD WAN Transit. Let's select our CSR version, which is 17.2. Let's select C4 Large. Let's just put a value of 5 for max host VPCs. And let's choose our device pairs. Uh, we don't need any advanced configuration, so we'll just click proceed. Let's choose our account and press discover. Now it identifies our SD1 VPC, which is our host VPC. Now select that. Let's click next. Now here, let's map our VPCs. Uh, it's part of the SD1 transit VPC that we're going to create, uh, and the VPN would be VPN1. And let's turn on route propagation. Now everything looks green, so let's go ahead and click next. Now in the back end, vManage will make multiple API calls to AWS and provision the required infrastructure. Uh, this might take uh, about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, so I'll just pause the video and return once everything is complete. So the configurations are done. So if you look at it, it creates a transit VPC, uh, creates the CSR in the transit VPC pair, then creates a virtual private gateway, creates a customer gateway, similar so to the second router, 
and then finally it creates the necessary IPsec VPN connections between the host VPC and the transit VPC. Let's go back to our main dashboard. And now you can see that you have three devices up in the fabric, uh, one in the branch and two in the transit VPC. Let's go back to our AWS console. Just refresh. And here you can see that we have two instances of CSR that have been spun up as C4 large. Let's go back to VPC. Let's do a refresh. And here you can see that it created the SD-WAN transit VPC. Let's go back to our VPN connections. Click customer gateways and here we find that we have two customer gateways for the two CSR routers that have been spun up in the transit VPC. Let's go to virtual private gateways. We have the virtual private gateway that's been created. And then if you go to side to side VPN connections, we, we see two side to side VPN connections. Now let's go and click one of them. And then click the tunnel details. And you can see that you have two tunnels up from this uh, transit VPN. And similarly, if you look at the other one, you'll see another two tunnels. So basically, we are making four tunnels, two tunnels each to each of the uh, CSRs in the transit VPC. So let's go to networks. Let's go back to our branch router and check our BFT connections. And you can see that the router has two BFT connections to the two routers from the branch uh, to the AWS Transit VPC routers. Let's go ahead and check the IP routes. Now here we can see that we are learning the host VPC routes from AWS, uh, which has been redistributed to OMP. Let's go back to our a AWS console. Now uh, this is the in instance IP 192.168.1.156. Let's go to the branch router. Let's do a ping to the instance. I have ICMP already open towards the instance in AWS. And you can see that there is a successful communication between the branch and the instance that is running in our VPC. Let's go back into our vManage dashboard and check the status of the transit VPCs. Let's click Cloud Unwrap for IS. And here we can see the host VPCs that we mapped, and we also see the status of the transit VPCs. Uh, let's click the host VPC, and here you can see the host VPC details and and the mapping towards the SDN transit VPC. Let's go to transit VPCs, and here you can see the status of the transit VPC, uh, the VPC IDs, uh, the size of the transit VPC, the CIDR used for the transit VPC. Let's go to interface. Click on real time. Now you can actually see the real time traffic that is flowing across towards a VPC from a branch. Since it's a demo environment, we don't have much traffic between the branch and the and the transit VPC. Thus, using Cisco SD-WAN, we can seamlessly extend your SD-WAN fabric from on-premise to the cloud using an automated workflow from vManage. In subsequent videos, we'll look at connecting to Azure in a similar fashion and also leveraging the AWS Transit Gateway for connecting between on-premise and the cloud. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.